welcome back to another video. So, um, I've been a little bit addicted to this mobile game, which is surprising for me because um, I am not a fan of mobile games. And when talking about Minecraft Pocket Edition, uh, well, specifically the mobile version of Minecraft Bedrock, um, I am very critical of it because, in my opinion, the you know touch screen for mobile phones and that it's just not a good way of playing a video game and you to basically play a game on a mobile phone at least decently in my opinion you need to get a um controller um but this actually has been quite enjoyable it's this game is called supremacy 1914 now I wouldn't really pay attention to the date because as far as I can tell it doesn't have really much of an impact other than uh, it's like you start then but it's just like it's not like it's going through like history and stuff so if you play the um uh oh what is it called ah civilization yes if you have played the Civilization games, you will probably like this. Um, so, um, you can see it's right here. So, this is just a sc screen of the game. So, um, currently, like this green area is my area. This red area is a uh, person I'm at war with. Uh, another country, which I can tap on to get the information. So, I am currently at war with East Algeria. Um, and I am ally, and this blue area is my ally, Egypt. And I am playing as East Libya. Um, so yeah, um, basically um, I started off in this area here where my capital is right there. And then I invaded uh, um, all everything up to about this point down here going like up and down here all of this used to be mine but then like um i basically declared war on these guys um and they pushed me all the almost all the way back to my capital but um because i was already allied with egypt um i basically just had to hold them off until egypt came in and saved my ass basically um so yeah and uh italy's been a pain in my neck uh since last night because they've been they've not really been successful in helping uh, um east angle ang angia uh, ang Alge algeria it's algeria dear damn dyslexia um they've not really been successful in helping them but um they have been annoying because they kept up enough of a presence so that I can't really leave this area alone uh, otherwise they're just gonna come down from Kaglaira uh, right? Lyra? Lyra? Th this island here they're gonna come down from there and then take that over so I have to leave at least some troops there to keep them from to deter them from a attacking but I also want to like take over these last two bits of land that they have so we can basically just finish them off um but yeah um so basically yeah it's a lot like civilization um the world map isn't the entire world map, uh, you've pretty much only got uh, North Africa in here, you don't have Southern Africa and anything south of North Africa, and obviously you have like Egypt over here, and you go up here and you've got um, Biarut, uh, you've got, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, if you can, you can't really read that, but it's just like a really long name with like lots of words, but you've got like uh, the Russian Empire here. Um, also, you got like the UK. You've got America over here. Um, 
You got Cuba somewhere in here. I believe. Huh. No, Cuba's not in this. Anyway. Um and um th this is the first game that I have ever played of this and it's like and you may be wondering, well why are you doing a review of this game now? You've only done you've not even done your first game of it, and that's because one individual, you know, game of this takes forever. So it's an RTS, real time strategy game. Um but the problem is uh, well not not really the problem, but the thing is is that if I say tap on this uh, one of these soldiers here that's moving, you can see you can't really see that because the camera's not gonna be cooperative and focus in on that unless maybe if I shove it right in this stupid face. But yeah, no, you can't really see that because the camera does not want to focus on it, which is annoying. Um, but I'm just gonna say that um, it says. Moving one hour fifty five minutes and four thirty six seconds, um, which is again real time. So that's gonna take one hour and fifty five minutes of real time to get it to its destination, um, and that's just moving, uh, attacking. A a single unit can only attack once every fifteen minutes, uh, meaning, and then when they do attack. They're more likely than not just gonna, unless the uh, enemy units that they are fighting have a um, fortress like this, it's more than likely only gonna take one of their units down, meaning that a battle can, for a city, can last hours and hours. If and like I said, that's never you're only going to re really be taking one of their troops if they don't have a fortress. If they do have a fortress, then you could just be doing nothing to them. Like, I've literally um, had, like, these level uh, four and five uh, fortresses be attacked and my opponent and Italy just not doing any damage to my units. Now, uh, as you can see... Here you can see the fortress there next to the red building there. Uh, that building is red because it's been destroyed, and that uh, has and that white bit is its health on the fortress, and it has been damaged from attacks. So they do get damaged, and you can and once they've been destroyed, they were basically um, useless. Oh, the, now the camera decides to focus. Um, anyway, but you know when that health bar is completely depleted, then they're basically null and void, and they do nothing. But you can repair them, and repairing is pretty cheap. Um, uh, like, yeah, and you have resources in this game, and everything costs resources. The different resources. Um, uh, are grain, um, which is obviously used to feed troops, fish. Which is again, I think is also used to feed troops. Um, actually, no, I think grain is mostly for upkeep, and then fish is actually for feeding troops. Um, iron ore, lumber, coal, oil, and the um, gas, which um, you can buy all of these in the stock market, and you can also sell them. Like I've so I've sold some. Uh, of my coal because I don't, I'm not really using a lot of coal, so I just like yeah, I'll sell a bunch of that. Um, and you uh, uh, get and there's also just like money, and then every pro every like province that you have produces something. So like um, Medene, M E D E N I N E, um, produces. 4.5k of grain and 3.1k money, um, as you can see there. And obviously, like you use the resources and money that you get uh, from uh, having provinces to build up an army, so you can go uh, invade other people's lands and take their resources. Um, 
You can speed up movement of troops by constructing railway at, in a province, and then that province will have railway, and then you know they'll move faster. But each railway costs three thousand uh, metal, five thousand wood, one thousand coal, ten thousand uh, money, and it takes eighteen hours to construct. Which, yeah, is a lot of time, and yeah, definitely not something you're just going to be building in the middle of a war to speed up your troops' um, movement. Um, and it's not particularly pay-to-win. Now, there is pay-to-win elements, and it is annoying, but it's not too bad. So basically, you get, um, you can get gold um which costs money uh this is first one uh, element will be going over and basically this gold isn't super broken you can use it to buy um resources for that and that you can also use it to um in uh increase morale in your uh provinces oh yeah and provinces have morale which it's just like signified by a little smiley face there um, and it, uh, uh, that morale can go up and down and I don't know exactly what causes it to go up and down uh, but I know you can boost it and I know you can also um, uh, itchy eye sorry about that uh, you can also decrease morale in enemy territories uh, which costs a lot more than increasing your morale uh, and that you can use it to heal up your troops. Right there, you can see my troops health is a bit low. But if I pressed, uh, if I had enough gold, it would heal up the troops for two hundred and eighty gold. Um, and that is pro that is the worst um, uh, element of this. That is you know where the worst pay to win element, but it's not super bad. Um, but if you did want to be a whale and just drop uh, 25 quid on this uh, on this game you could get 84,000 gold um, which you could do a lot with that um, or if you wanted to drop 8 quid the 50 pence uh, you'd get 21,000 gold um, so it's not super extortionate but I'm not a fan of it, and but it's not super overpowered, so it's just like, eh, kind of a, it's, it's not super bad, but I'm not, again, I'm not really just a, a fan of, like, any pay-to-win elements, really. Um, but again, bearing in mind, this is a game with developers and, a, 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 you know, servers to um keep up so they have to monetize it in some way shape or form um and the other um way of uh, monetizing this they have is premium accounts and basically you pay uh, you can pay four quid and 20 pence for 31 days 25 quid for 186 days or 20 uh, 42 quid uh, for 365 days um, now um, the only thing that that allows you to do really um, well there's two things that I know of firstly when you are constructing something you can only construct one building and one um, unit at a time now uh, um, getting the um, premium account does not change that but it does allow you to queue up um, buildings and uh, um, units to be produced but only up to four queued at any one point in time so yeah that's decent you know it's just like yeah that's good and something I'm not a fan of is that um, I'm just gonna use this unit to uh, I know it's it does do this with this unit. I don't know if it's any other units, but um, with these units, you can um, do fire control, which is 
locked behind the premium accounts and that does provide a strategical advantage to people with the premium accounts but um, I don't know if this is this is if this is a premium thing thing but the, um, because they were doing this when I first started playing but uh, what they have started doing is letting you watch ads to get uh, the premium accounts they've you cannot you've always been able to do it watch ads to get gold and every day you can get 300 600 1000 500 gold um, and now with this you can watch ads to get uh, 6 plus 8 that's 14 plus 12 is 26 hours of uh, premium account um, yeah again they have to have a way to monetize the game because you know they obviously need money to keep the game going so honestly it's not super bad but you know um, I do have some criticisms of it and I'll be back in one minute so yeah they are um, definitely something to take into account if you are thinking about playing this game but honestly you can probably just uh, ignore all of them and uh, just play without it and it's, I don't know how much of a disadvantage you'll be at but honestly probably not much to be honest because um, while being able to heal your troops is nice, it's not like you can just heal them in the middle of a battle. Um, you can only heal them if they're you know, not currently engaged in an, you know, either being attacked or attacking. So um, that is quite nice. So would I uh, recommend this to anyone? Honestly, yes, if you do enjoy um, civilization and don't mind the the, the pay to win elements um, and and especially if you don't mind watching the ads like if you uh, if you watch you know the ads and you, you the uh, little bit of gold that you get from them is definitely useful um, but you know do be advised when you're when you start a game that be aware that that game will be going on for a long time like I've been playing this game one game for multiple days now and you've seen how like little i've managed to do like uh you see egypt has uh, been able to do more than me but that's mainly because egypt didn't get his ass kicked uh and handed to him by a more powerful country um but yeah uh other than uh that there's not really much that I can really say about it because um, while I have been playing this for multiple days and do have a fair bit of knowledge again this is my only my first game and uh, um, I'm not super knowledgeable about it but let me um, offer some quick advice firstly um, if when you first start off a game just spend some time building up infrastructure and building up an army before you start doing any wars unless you are a large country and there's just like a small um you know you have like a small neighbor that really poses no threat to you um because like when i started um i had like multiple armies and there was a um area that was like um african french or whatever it was called um actually i can double i can check as this like um french west africa owned um i believe it was these uh that land there and uh that one. Oh no I didn't mean to do that and that one these two lands here which were the only lands they owned that were connected to my land so obviously they had no chance of standing against me in the war so it's like yeah I'm just gonna steamroll them so if you have if you're in a situation like that where you are a much bigger um, nation 
and there's just like a small little nation with some resources that resources available just steamroll them and take their resources um and but if uh, but i would highly recommend that just um before going into war with like a stronger um foe uh to um just build up your infrastructure and uh, um, build some forts and get some armies built up before going to war because again um what you know a war will take many will take multiple real life days to um you know finish and it, uh, um you do want to be prepared um for whatever your opponents throw at you um and infrastructure and uh, um building up an army is what i'm going to prioritize once i've finally won this war uh before i then go and uh, kick it italy's teeth in um for being a royal pain in my neck um but to, and then i'm gonna conquer the rest of northern africa i just really want to teach uh italy a lesson because they have been a, they've been annoying i'm probably not gonna well might not possibly not uh you know take over all of their lands but maybe taking an island or two and then maybe ha getting a presence in mainland europe might be enough for, for them to you know say hey can we please 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 stop attacking them maybe um but yeah they, they have been a pain um but yeah and i bear in mind i've not been paid to say anything good about this i've not even been like approached by the game developers i've just been playing this game um you know in my free time and i've been enjoying it and i thought i'd just like make this video uh just let you guys all, all know about it because um i've not really heard anybody talk about this because like uh, you hear all the times like oh raid shadow legends raid shadow legends raid shadow legends but yeah this, this is I, genuinely good and i'm surprised i've not heard more people talk about it like it's not mind-blowing or anything but if you if you like real-time strategy games and uh, um this is really good and uh unlike civilization you don't have to be constantly um playing it because it's just gonna be going in the background because it's a multiplayer game so these are actually real people that i'm playing against um and not just ais um and the, the game is just constantly going in the background like right now it's just going on the, on in the background and my armies are just marching along and they're gonna uh invade um you know just execute the orders i told tell them to do and yeah and right now we're, and uh something that i've been really enjoying is playing city skylines while just having my phone up beside me with it just on just like uh just glance looking over on my phone just like okay yeah just everything's going on well here back to city skylines and you could do that with any pretty much any game you just like play minecraft it's like okay just need to do this and yeah okay back to minecraft now um or pokemon or um whatever watching youtube um or tv or netflix whatever you like to do you can just be doing that and then just like doing this in the background and it is just um you know it's not um you don't have to dedicate yourself to it uh too much um so yeah um i would definitely recommend it i don't think i, I don't know if how to really link you know like maybe i could like try and get the link on the phone and if i can find a way to link the um app in the description i definitely will do that but um yeah it i would definitely recommend it um and if you do um uh, if you do already play it let me know let me know your thoughts about the game in the in the comment section 
and it, uh, if if you're going to pick this up let me know uh, if you're going to pick it up in the comment section below or, and uh, uh, if, you know, what you think about it and yeah I hope you guys all did enjoy it. oh and did I mention it's free to download like free to play so you don't have to pay anything to get play the game in the first place anyway so I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video I hope to see you guys in the next video or live stream whatever I decide to do um, and bye-bye.